Aha, now I got a musk turtle. Right there. These are also called stink pot turtles because they tend to smell like a skunk whenever you piss them off. Oh god, it starts to smell like skunk. <laughs> Let's get outside quick. Good morning, dudes and dudettes. It's another lovely morning, and the babies are all stampeding, waiting for their morning food. Speaking of, I told you they're stampeding. <laughs> you want to see a baby tortoise run? That's with some food right there. Hello, buddy. I'm still trying to get them all used to me. The big guy can be pet on the head, but they just don't quite get it yet. Hello, little one. Are you wanting food, too? Sweet. All right, let me get them all fed. I need to find the big lady, Scarface, wherever she is. <laughs> she actually doesn't have a scar on her face anymore, but I think she might be sleeping. Nope. Where'd she go? Uh-oh. Is she in the big hut? There she is. All right, I need to get them all fed, and then I need to start the day. I've got a lot of electrical stuff I got to do for my neighbor. But I figured it'd be a nice way to start the morning. I've got to clean that out because it's been about two days. Big guy hasn't woken up. But the solar panel and the fan that we installed a few days ago is doing absolutely great. So that's pretty cool. Figured I'd give a little bit of an update there. All right. Let's get them fed and get today's started. Ta-da! Everyone's eating and drinking. That's why I fill up these things with water because they drink the water. And then they eat all the nice uh, moisturized pellets, which is very, very good for them. Keeps their hydration up. You're going to get some food out here. I guess you just aren't quite awoke enough. All right. Well, <laughs> hashtag woke. <laughs> all right, I need to get the freaking uh, water replaced and then off to doing electrical stuff. Hopefully the big guy wakes up here in a second. And with that... Morning chores are done. I just still need to wait for the big guy to wake up so that I can feed him. All right, hello. I guess with all of that, I just need to run over to my neighbor. I don't think, oh, they are awake, cool. So I'll go into their garage and go collect all my stuff and I'll be ready for the day. Welcome back to my neighbor's house where it's starting to grow back over the line that we installed. He did have to put in a new pump because his blew out right after I installed the new stuff, which is exactly why we're doing this timer circuit today. Instead of having this switch, I'm going to replace it with a full-blown outdoor pool timer that will kick on at night and about four hours during the day. Got all my tools, got the water, but unfortunately, as I walk around here, they left. <laughs> They're either gone or sleeping or something, so I can't get access to the garage where I stored the timer. So that's a little bit of a bummer. I'll probably either have to do this later on tonight or tomorrow. Uh, I think I'm going to leave the tools here because I'll try to do it tonight. Grab the water. I do have to run up to Walmart, and I think I have another idea for today. I think I'm going to spoil my little baby turtles. And we'll see how much it costs at Walmart, but I think I'm going to do it. Alrighty, here we go. Turtle upgrade. I've got still six baby little turtles. And man, the locusts are real loud today. i got six little baby turtles inside in that little aquarium, and I think I'm going to move them up to this. This is a 30, 40 gallon tank. I'm not actually certain, but it has a lot more square footage than their current tank does and they'll be a lot happier with it. I got a bunch more plants, a lot of gravel, a lot of stuff in general to put in here. Let's start washing it off and start filling it up. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot on me. I picked underneath the tree so that hopefully it'll keep it shaded during the morning and afternoon hours and only get hit by the sun in late afternoon. Uh, the reason it's taken me so long to start working on this because CoServe showed up. I had the engineer show up and I had some surveyors show up and they actually are starting to progress on getting that big transformer in my yard, which will be pretty cool. But that will still take a couple weeks. So I'm going to pull out the rock. I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to wash off those two stones. Uh, and then I guess I'm going to start filling it up with plants. And then I guess we're going for water. 
it's getting there. Uh, we've washed all this gravel, all these plants, and those things I'm not really going to worry about because they're pretty flat surfaces. Right now I'm adding even more water to the rest of the gravel, and I'm going to kind of mix that up, try to clear it off, get the debris out, and make sure also just give it a pre-rinse. Then it's off to go disassemble the other tank. I have a lot more plants I plan to add in the center. I need to add the filtration unit to it, and obviously I need to add the turtles. So, yeah, <laughs> slowly but surely we're getting there. Though, I do have a little bit of a complaint. Let me move over here to show you. It's kind of hot today. I don't know if you can tell, but that is almost 110 in the shade. So, it's really fucking hot and humid today. <laughs> I'm just working really slow. In fact, I don't think I'm going to work on my neighbor's uh, timer because they're still not home slash napping slash whatever the hell happened. Uh, so I figure I'll work on that tomorrow morning. I guess today is just going to be a turtle pampering day. Now it's starting to look like a turtle habitat. So I have a bunch, you can't really tell, but I have a bunch of plants in the center and there's a walking path all the way around it. And then I have like three little branching areas for plants. And then I have two little turtle grottos built into there. So hopefully that will work out. I just need to figure out a way to install a pump, aerators, start filling it up with water and go grab little baby turtles. Almost. Cool. Let's start grabbing turtles. I think it's ready for them. I put some dechlorinator in there already. I still need to put some easy balance and a turtle saver and everything else. A little, uh, that's, people who don't know what I'm talking about are going to be confused as hell. Oh, that's bubble stones. Um, I have a whole bag of goodies that I'm grabbing from. Aquarium tubing, where is it? I know I put them in here. Uh, there it is. Reptigard. Uh, and protected by killer turtles. <laughs> Reptigard. I need to go bury this somewhere in there because baby turtles tend to fuck with it. Uh, I also need to put bubble stones in and also put the filter on, but other than that, it's looking pretty darn good. All right, let me go grab turtles and put them in the bucket. It's always fun to be sticking your hand into a turtle tank and grabbing little snapping turtles. <laughs> Let's see if this one likes me or not. See if he gets aggressive. Hopefully not. Hey, he's pretty peaceful. Toss him in the bucket. Let's go back. The tank's kind of dirty, but I've been letting the water go down. This is a musk turtle. No, it's not. This is a razorback turtle. You can tell by the colors. This guy and the spotted face, he is not mean at all. He's just like a little musk turtle. Let's see here. Aha! Now I got a musk turtle. Right there. These are also called stink pot turtles because they tend to smell like a skunk whenever you piss them off. Or scare them. Waiting for another. I don't see a baby in there. There's one. <laughs> Grab you, another stink pot. Toss you in there, there's four out of the six. There's still another baby in here. I got one, but I don't know who it is. Oop, it's a stink pot again. Oh, don't run away from me, baby. <laughs> Put him in there, one last snapping turtle. No idea where he's at, though. Ooh, that was grody. Oh, that was grody. I don't see him. Uh-oh. I don't want to accidentally set this thing down on top of him. Oh, there he is. He's inside. Ta-da! Got him. That would be the last one. Cool! Oh, God, it starts to smell like skunk. <laughs> Let's get outside quick. All right, I think I'm going to release the little snapping turtles first, because they seem... Oh! He was about to snap on me. <laughs> That's the first time I've had them being a vicious. All right, you go on in. Have fun, turtle. Come on, you little stink pots. Have fun. Have fun. The water is almost exactly the same temperature, which is nice. There's a little razorback. And Lask. Lask. Good job. The last musk turtle. Sweet. As they go exploring their tank. <laughs> That's great. Gotta love baby turtles. 
All right, now I need to get an aerator stone in there real quick, and I also need to clean out their old filter and get them in this thing. They should be pretty happy, though. <sighs> All right, now, hello. Now it's time to do that. Let's just pull it apart, and then I guess I'll replace all the filters. I normally clean some of them and use them, but I've got like two or three boxes of new filters, so I think I'll use that. Might use a new carbon bag, too, because I have a couple of them. All right, let's disassemble this. This thing's like a five-level uh, filter, and my other one is a seven-level filter. <sighs> Give me a second. Ta-da! We now have moving water again which is pretty darn cool. The turtles are slowly figuring it out as, <laughs> as he gets pushed by the current. Hello, babies. Goodbye, babies. <laughs> They'll figure out soon enough that the safest place for them would be on the inside and in the grottos. I might also put some bricks on these uh, black things so that kind of separates the current a little bit. But other than that, they look okay. Everyone seems to be exploring their new little huts all right, cool. Um, with that loveliness, I actually kind of like it. I need to still hook up the aerator. Um, the musk turtles and the razorbacks, it really doesn't matter. But I believe, now please somebody correct me if I'm wrong, I believe snapping turtles actually have glands in their tails, or butts I should say, that allow them to breathe in aerated water. But I don't know if that's specific types of snapping turtles or what. Uh, with all of that loveliness, I'll figure that out. I'm gonna put aerators in there regardless. Um, I need to clean this stuff up, and I also need to build a cage to put on top of it, because I don't want birds and cats to be picking off my turtles. But that's gonna take me a little bit, so I just wanted to report a little bit of progress. And once again, I'll be back in a minute. Well, shit. <laughs> So I have a temporary rain cover over everything. I've got the aerators in there. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a aerator stone there and an aerator stone there. Uh, the thing looks pretty darn good. I'm happy with it. I did move these. I moved them from turtle grottos into like half caves because I realized with so many little babies in there, it's possible that one could be inside and another one tries to push his way in and the one that's stuck in there can't get out to get air. So I wanted to make sure there's one way in, one way out, etc., etc. Uh, well, I say one way in, one way out. Multiple ways in, multiple ways out. One way in, one way out is exactly what I'm trying not to have. Uh, it looks good, but I'm a little concerned because I want to put some form of cover over it. I thought I had some form of chicken wire, or at the very least, I thought I had some uh, screen mesh, like something that goes on the outside of a window like this. And unfortunately, I don't. I have the wood that I could build a frame and cover it with a top, but I don't have the screen mesh or the chicken wire, so I'm going to have to run up to Lowe's tomorrow and grab that, along with a couple other things, but that primarily, because I don't want these guys exposed to the predators. They're just a little bit too tiny. The musk turtles, like that one, are only going to get about six inches in size, so I mean, about that big maybe. And then the snapping turtles are going to get huge. They're going to get bigger than that rock, pretty much. <laughs> so I'll have a pond for them, which I'll move out there. But that's after I get the transformer and stuff done. All right, well, I think I'm going to call it quits here because it is way too hot to be working. And I've successfully accomplished something I've been wanting to do for a couple of days. I say that a couple of weeks, really. I've just been putting it off. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and tomorrow we'll finish this and finally get on my neighbor's pool timer.